Pat's Two Cents. This is Pat Love. Listen, I'm going to do communion. And I ask you if any of you would like to join me. You can replay this tape and join me every time. I am doing it as a suggestion of one of my YouTube subscribers, my long-term subscribers. She has the gift of healing. That is her ministry. And she told me, Pat, I want you to take communion every night for your healing. Well, there are many days I take it twice a day because I'm trying to double up on this blessing. Yeah, in warp speed. So I am right now getting ready to take communion. And I ask you to join me. And Father, I ask you to bless and sanctify the sacrament in the name of Jesus. As we do this, we partake of your body, we partake of your blood. We do this in remembrance of you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for what you did on the cross. Now, I'm going to read an admonishment before, which I believe we should always do, because some people think they can just take communion and they're good to go. But let me tell you one thing. You make sure you ask God to help you forgive before you take this. You ask God to help remove, if you have a tendency to judge other people and be intolerant, ask God to remove that. And this is why. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Okay? Verse 26. I'm going to start there. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Verse 27. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. If there's anybody in the body of Christ that you will not connect with, that you will not forgive, that you will have nothing to do with, I mean a true believer, not a, 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 a hypocrite, a true believer. You better hold on. If you're angry at one of your brothers or sisters, or you're resentful, or you have bitterness deep down, even if it's hidden, don't take this. Wait until you are ready to ask God to enable you to release all of that. You do not want to drink damnation to yourself. Now listen to this. This is the reason. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. I ain't talking about either. If we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Now, let's go back. All right. And we go to verse 24. Now we go to the sacrament. And when he had given thanks, he break it. Let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. Okay. For I have received, verse 23, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, we bless your holy name. When he had given thanks, he break it. And he said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Take and eat. Verse 25, after the same manner also he took the cup 
And when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Father, we do this now in remembrance of you. In the name of Jesus, bless his holy name. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Yes, by his stripes, we are healed. God bless you. Thank you.